relax, do things the way you've been doing them, and we're going to have a great day of training. Follow that out. Uh, Master Sergeant Michael Willey, M-I-C-H-A-E-L-W-I-L-L-E-Y, -L -L -E uh, Unit 3172 Infantry under the 86 IBCT. My role is the Battalion Operations NCO. Uh, today our Alpha Company is executing um, platoon combined arms live fire exercise. And uh, it's an integration of several units within this live fire exercise to include uh, engineer assets from our brigade. So a whole squad from 572nd. Uh, engineer battalion and um, we have our battalion mortars the company mortars and our battalion snipers uh, in addition to the our state partners uh, Austrian infantry soldiers integrated into the training today uh, my role currently right now uh, running the battalion CP and the um, which is in charge of overall exercise control and communicating with range control and everyone downrange to make sure run, training is running safe yeah, I mean, I'm uh, just from our perspective back here, you know, everyone's training hard. Uh, they're pretty tired. It's been a couple of weeks out here, but they're doing really well. Um, all the training leading up to this has been uh, performed very well, uh, and they're out there training, and I think they're going to do, they're doing really well from, from my perspective. Yeah, so building up to this event uh, really started two years ago, a little over two years ago with coming off of our last deployment. Uh, starting from that individual soldier level training, uh, moving into team and squad level tasks last year. Uh, last year we did conduct squad live fires at the squad level there, and this year ramping up to this platoon live fire exercise planning for this specific event started a year ago um, at our last year's AT. And um, throughout those last 12 months, uh, not only planning for the event, but actually executing the training gates to get to here. Um, including integration in with the Austrians and coordinating with all the different units. Um, it's really quite um, a lengthy process in terms of making sure it all comes together. Yeah, the 1st Army has been great. Uh, we've really been training alongside the same uh, battalion uh, from 1st Army uh, pretty consistently for the last several years, all the way back to our swift response exercise in 2022. I uh, see some of the same faces here with us today as we did back then. Um, and they're always there and available for us every time they come out and help us. They're an uh, extremely valuable asset for our organization. Uh, and they're truly responsible for helping us get to where we are today by providing their input and feedback, not only in the training plan and how to integrate them into the training uh, and provide correct and accurate feedback during AER process and, and uh, providing us the soldiers to help execute that training.